Many beloved classics have recently gotten the remaster treatment. Crash Bandicoot came out with the Insane Trilogy, and Spyro's making his return with the Reignited Trilogy. But not all games are so lucky, never getting a facelift of their own, despite their immense popularity and fan base. Well today, we're gonna see if one specific game deserves the remaster treatment when I re-complete Super Mario Land 2, The Six Golden Coins. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another brand new episode of The Completionist New Game Plus, a show in which I'm recompleting the first 120 games from the original Completionist lineup. More about that in the description down below. Guys, gals, guys and dolls, so excited today to be replaying Super Mario Land 2, The Six Golden Coins. Only originally, I got to play the game with my good buddy Davis. I only wish he was here today. Hey! Gerard! Hey. I'm here! You beckoned me with your words! So, so glad that you're here, Davis. Shall we do this? Do what? This. Send me the fan art. Yes! Super Mario Land 2 is certainly loved by fans, but it seems to have been forgotten by Nintendo. I love Super Mario Land 2! See what I mean? The game was a massive hit on the Game Boy and is still considered by many to be one of the best portable games ever made. However, Nintendo seems to forget that it even existed, leaving it in the Nintendo vault, where it will sit forever. Or will it? <laughs> But we have not forgotten, and to show the world that this game deserves its remaster, Davis and I are going to complete this game for you, the audience, today. We're anticipating the completion process to be exactly the same as the first time. This will start with completing each of the zones in the hub world. There are six to beat in total, each having their own boss and coin, hence the six golden coins. Each zone also has secret levels we'll have to find, but don't tell anyone because shh, it's a secret. And finally, we're gonna have to beat Wario in an epic brawl that's much harder than the rest of the game, because you know, Standard Mario stuff. Wait, you mean we're gonna have to bop Wario himself? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I fucking love Super Mario Land at sign exclamation point. Wait, at sign? Sorry, I think you or one of your writers held the shift down while they were writing this. Let me try this again. Super Mario Land 2, baby! Super Mario Land 2 is a great example of how a game with simple controls and creative art design can make a game that you want to pick up and play again and again and again. It honestly never gets old. Mario has just returned from rescuing Princess Daisy from the clutches of Tatanga in the kingdom of Sarasaland. Mario finds that his childhood rival, Wario, has taken over his castle and made it his own. It's up to Mario to gather the six golden coins and reclaim his home. Really, it's that basic skeletal Mario plot so you can get to some fun platforming as quickly as possible. You start off in an overworld known as Mario Land, and inside Mario Land, there are six Six different zones. These zones are Tree Zone, Space Zone, Macro Zone, Pumpkin Zone, Turtle Zone, and Mario Zone. Wait, Mario lives in Mario Land inside Mario Castle right next to a place called Mario Zone? How egotistical can one guy get? We get it, you plum! One of the best things about Super Mario Land 2 is that you can go to any of the zones at any time instead of being set on a linear path. I love this! Do I want to start in space? Or do I want to be shrunk down to the size of an ant? Or do I want to start inside myself? The possibilities are endless. As you can tell by those descriptions, this game is oozing with weirdness and it's really charming. But it's not just the level design. The enemies are even weirder. Ooh, there's boxing sharks, cowfish, pigs that shoot balls out of their mouths, ants with guns on their heads, pufferfish, no, space pufferfish, whatever the hell that guy is, and Jason masks with a knife stuck in them. Did you hear that? Jason masks with a knife stuck in them in a Nintendo game. God, this game is rad. While yes, the enemies are fun and weird, the bosses of each zone are way too easy to be memorable. They're all your standard dodge and attack and jump on their head three times kind of bosses. Even the final boss, Wario, wasn't really that hard. They're still pretty creative though. How often do you get to fight the three little pigs inside a giant mechanical Mario? I especially like how the boss 
boss of the Space Zone is Tatanga, the final boss of Super Mario Land. It's cool to see that there was some thought to connect the two games. Speaking of Super Mario Land, the graphics in Super Mario Land 2 are a massive improvement over the former. It looks exactly like Super Mario World on a handheld device. At the time, this was a major game changer. Other than the weird enemies, the next most iconic part of Super Mario Land 2 is the music. The songs are deliciously cheesy and build a perfect atmosphere for their respective levels. My personal favorite is the main theme. It's called Athletic, and honestly, as soon as it starts, I can't help but be athletic. Up, oh, here I go. Gotta do it. Gotta be athletic. Wait, Gerard. Wait, wait. Hey, hey. Put me down. No. Oh, oh my God. Davis, are you okay? I think I broke my arm. Oh no. No, don't cry. Don't cry. No cry. Medic. Don't. Medic. <laughs> Am I dying? No, medic! Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> your goal in each level is to reach the end by running, jumping, and spin jumping. On your journey, you can pick up coins and power-ups as you go. This time, coins actually work as a currency instead of getting a one-up. You can use these to work a slot machine and earn extra lives. At the end of each level, there is a bell you can hit. This gives you access to either a crane game or a switchboard. Both give you a chance to earn power-ups and even more extra lives. They really want to give you a nice cushion to fail a lot in this game, but it's really so easy you don't really need them. The power-ups remain similar to the usual Mario wears. Super Mario Land 2 introduces the carrot, which gives Mario rabbit ears and allows him to fly. You know, like a rabbit. But since the game is in black and white, some aesthetic changes needed to be made. The Fire Flower gives Mario a feather in his cap, and instead of a green mushroom for a 1-up, the 1-up is a heart. This helps differentiate them from the regular Mario and the Super Mushroom, respectively. When it comes to completing Super Mario Land 2, there really isn't much to it. It's really easy, and if you beat the game once, you've pretty much done everything. But put yourself into young Davis's shoes, and you just beat a whole game by yourself on a single car ride to Grandma's house. Feels good, man. It's the kind of quality that makes me want to keep playing the game and get into wrestling whenever I- Oh, there's the music. There we go. Get over here. Don't those eyes. Oh, yeah. No. No. Oh, yeah. Stop. No. Ah. No. Gerard. I'm a person. No. no. Respect my boundaries. No. no. But alas, Super Mario Land 2 does not yield any special rewards for completing the game. You get to see the credits and then you have the choice to start over again. But there are rewards for exploring inside the levels. There are six different secret exits in the game. If you find them, they take you to a special area. These are levels that offer a bunch of coins and sometimes even alternate paths inside the zones. The coolest thing about these special areas is that they actually cause a change in the look for the zone. These are fun rewards for exploring each level and really made me smile. Super Mario Land 2 is meant to be a game that you can pick up and finish anytime, anywhere. It's completely satisfying, and as soon as I'm done with one playthrough, I immediately want to do it again. And that in itself is its own completion bonus. While we recompleted Super Mario Land 2, there were six golden coins collected, thousands of regular coins collected, six special areas found, less than three hours of total playtime, and one friendship that can't be broken, even when one of the friends breaks the other's arm. Dick, I love you. I love you, man. Super Mario Land 2 holds up to this day because it is everything that Mario games are meant to be. Simple, creative, and most importantly, fun. Even today, 26 years after it was originally released, Super Mario Land 2 is a ton of fun. It was a landmark portable game and deserves to be remembered. Super Mario Land 2 The Six Golden Coins is one of the best Mario games of all time, especially on the Game Boy. You can get it for cheap on the 3DS right now today. It's got great music amazing level design, and it introduces us to Wario. It's always a good thing. Yeah. So, with, with that, that in mind, guys, guys we still, still give this game our completionist, completionist rating of Complete It. Complete It! That's all the time we have for today, guys, so please, as always, let us know what you think about today's episode somewhere on the internet. Guys, Davis from the Warp Zone. Oh my He's the best. Come here. Hey. He's the best. You know what? You're the ah, oh, sorry. No. You know what? Sorry. Oh, this oh my god, it broke. Oh, it broke. I it broke your arm. Oh, this expensive. I totally prop. broke your real arm. Oh. This is my fucking sweater. I don't know what. I, I broke. The, but it's really broken. Bro oh, oh, watch. 